Calling to make a reservation. I'd like to make a reservation. Can you tell me what dates you would like to stay? I want to stay from April 1st through the 3rd. That's two nights. What kind of room would you like? I'd like an economy room, please. Do you want two twin beds or one queen bed? I'll be staying in the room alone, so one queen bed is fine. That will be a total of $219. I need your credit card number. I have to pay right now? We need a credit card so we can hold your reservation. What if I need to cancel? You need to let us know 24 hours in advance, or else we will charge you regardless. Making an online reservation. I'm going to book our hotel reservation online. Are you going to book directly from the hotel website? I think if I use a service like Hotels.com, it is cheaper. You should compare the websites and see which gives us a better deal. It asks how many nights we are staying. You are going to have to tell them how many adults and children are staying in the room. The Hotels.com website compares prices for different hotels. Pick the one that is the cheapest but has the nicest rooms. How can I tell? Look at the pictures and also read the reviews. How do I pay once I pick a hotel? Here, take my credit card. Checking into the hotel. I'm checking in. What name is the reservation under? It's under my name, Michael Roberts. Can I see your identification, please? Here's my driver's license. I have you staying for two nights, is that correct? That's correct. I need a credit card for any incidentals. I don't plan on using a phone or the minibar. I still need a credit card, though. Can I pay in cash? You will have to pay $200 cash deposit if you don't want to leave a credit card. Requesting a wake up call. I have an early meeting, so can I get a wake up call? Sure. What time should we call you? Can you call my room at 6 in the morning? Just tell me your room number. I'm staying in room 302. Okay, Mr. Roberts. We'll call you at 6 a.m. What happens if I don't answer? Then you'll probably miss your meeting. Can I request a second wake up call? What time should we schedule a second wake up call? Call me again at 6 15 if I don't answer at 6. So we have one wake up call at 6 and a second one 15 minutes later. Asking the concierge for sightseeing advice. I have a few hours to explore the city. I can make some recommendations for you. Great! I want to see some museums. Here are some brochures for some local museums. Do you like modern or classic art? I like modern art. Are the museums far? It depends on which one of the two modern art museums you want to see. Where is the closest one? Let me show you on the map. This one is walking distance from the hotel. Is the ticket to get in very expensive? It's normally $20. Does the hotel offer any discount tickets? If you buy the ticket here, it will only cost you $15. Asking the concierge for restaurant advice. Are there any good French restaurants around here? There are quite a few. I have some menus you can look at. Which one do you recommend? It's my wife's birthday. The French Quarter is very romantic. Is it very expensive? It is about $50 a person, not including alcohol or tip. Do I need a reservation? Yes, but I would be happy to make that reservation for you. Great, get us a table for two at eight. Will you also need transportation to the restaurant? Can you get a limo to pick us up? I can do that for $30. Talking to room service. I'd like to order room service, please. What would you like to order? I'm really hungry. What are my choices? There should be a menu in your room. I have it in front of me. Can I have a cheeseburger deluxe with bacon and fries? Sure. How do you want your burger? Bloody, and I want my bacon extra crispy. Would you like anything to drink? Can I have a beer? 
Are you 21 or older? I'm way older than 21. We'll send that to your room in 30 minutes. You can pay upon delivery or we can charge your room. Calling to report a cockroach problem. One. Hi, I'm calling from room 117 and there is a big problem. I'm so sorry. What seems to be the issue? The issue is a huge disgusting cockroach in my bathroom. Is it just one cockroach? Yeah, there's only one, but it's the size of my hand. Why don't you just kill it? I shouldn't have to kill cockroaches while I'm on vacation. Do you want me to send someone to kill it for you? You can send someone, but I also want to be moved to a different room. I don't know if we have any other rooms available right now. Well, I'm not staying in this room if there are gigantic cockroaches sharing it with me. I'll send someone to your room right away to see if we can move you. Calling to report a cockroach problem, two. There are a few problems with room 217 and I'd like to be moved. Maybe it's a problem we can fix without moving you. If you can kill eight cockroaches I've seen this morning. Did you say eight cockroaches? Are you exaggerating just a little? I know how to count and I took pictures and video with my cell phone. We can call an exterminator and send him to your room. Great, and then I'm supposed to breathe in toxins after that? At least you won't have any more cockroaches. You can't be serious right now. Can I speak to your supervisor? I can transfer your call right now. Can you also transfer my room? I'll check to see if we have any vacant rooms we can move you to. Asking about the hotel gym. Is there a gym in this hotel? Yes, the fitness center is located on the third floor. Is there a charge for me to use it? No, it's free for all of our guests. Wonderful. Can I go use it right now? Unfortunately, the gym is only open from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m., and it's 10 p.m. now. I guess I'll use it in the morning then. Just use your room key card to get in. Are there weight machines? The gym has weight machines, some treadmills, and some elliptical machines, too. What about a personal trainer? No, there are no personal trainers, just the machines. Asking for more amenities. There are some amenities missing from my hotel room. I'm sorry to hear that. What is your room number and what's missing? I'm in room 143. There is no hair dryer. I can send one up to you right away. Great. So that I can use that hair dryer, can you also send up shampoo and conditioner? There should have been a basket in the bathroom with all that. Well, there isn't. Anything else I can send up to your room? Yes, I need an iron and an ironing board. Those aren't in your closet. Maybe they are invisible, but I don't see them. I do apologize. I will bring them personally. Asking where to make a copy. Is there a copy machine for guests? Yes, we have copy machines in our business center, which is to your right. I need to make a color copy. There are two black and white machines and one color copier. Is there a charge to use the machine? The cost per sheet on the color copy machine is 25 cents. Does the machine take credit cards? No, but I'd be happy to give you change if you have bills. I need to make four color copies, so give me change for a dollar. The machine also takes one dollar bills, so you don't need change. Is there usually a wait for the machines? Our business center is pretty empty right now, so you should have the run of the place. Calling to report a medical emergency. Is there a doctor on call? What seems to be the problem? My husband is having chest pain. I think it's a heart attack. We are calling an ambulance right now. I don't need an ambulance. I need a doctor. We don't have a doctor on duty at the hotel. I think he is going to die. The paramedics are on their way. Is there no one on staff to help us? Calm down. Someone is coming up right now. Someone is knocking on the door. Take a deep breath. It may be the paramedics. 
Calling for a wireless connection. I'm having trouble connecting to the wireless network. What network are you trying to connect to? I'm trying to connect to the Bay Hotel network. You need to connect to the Bay Hotel guest network. What login do I use? Your room number is your login. What about the password? The password for all guests is Vacation Connect, all one word, all lowercase. That seems to work. Thanks so much. No problem. In the future, refer to the guest folder located by the television. I'm so stupid. I didn't even think to look there. No problem. That's what we're here for. Requesting more supplies for the minibar. I need someone to come up and restock the minibar in my room. Does everything need to be restocked? The good stuff needs to be restocked. Tell me what's good to you, sir. The three mini bottles of Grey Goose were great. Do you need the mixers to be restocked too? I just need more cranberry juice to go with the vodka. Do any of the snacks need to be restocked? Bring a can of honey roasted nuts. You like nuts, sir? I'm nuts about nuts. Okay, just give me your room number and someone will restock those items. Asking about the swimming pool. Can you tell me where the pool is? It's right outside the automatic sliding doors to your left. Is it open 24 hours? No, the pool is open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Where can I get towels for the pool? There are wicker baskets by the pool with fresh towels. Is the pool heated? We keep the pool heated to 80 degrees. How deep is the pool? The pool is 3 feet on one end and goes up to 12 feet at the other end. How often do they clean the pool? It's cleaned every day before it opens. Getting a taxi via the front desk. I need a cab to the theater district. We can get that for you right away. Well, I don't need to be there for another hour. Would you like to reserve a limo then? That seems a bit much for me. Just a regular cab is fine. We can't reserve a taxi that far in advance, sir. So how do I get a cab in an hour then? If you go right outside our lobby when you're ready, a staff member will hail one for you. Do I have to tip the guy who gets the cab for me? Tips aren't mandatory, but they are appreciated. Maybe I'll just hail the cab myself then. That's also an option. Checking out. I'm ready to check out. Give me your room key and tell me your room number, please. Here's the key. I was in room 250. Let me print out a copy of all your charges for you to review. This looks right. Excellent. Will you be paying with the credit card you used when you checked in? Yeah, just charge the total to that. I just need your signature and you're all set. Thanks so much. I had a wonderful stay. I hope you stay with us again in the future. I stay here all the time when I'm in town on business. In that case, we'll see you soon. Disputing the bill. There are some changes on the final bill that are incorrect. Okay, sir. Can you tell me which ones are in dispute? I never ordered this movie, The Care Bears Christmas. Are you sure your kids didn't order it? I don't have any kids. Besides, I was at the theater at that time. All right, I'll take that charge off your bill. Anything else? Yeah, I didn't drink four bottles of Grey Goose from the minibar. I remember you calling for more vodka, sir. Yeah, I ordered three more bottles, but I didn't drink any of them. Maybe you don't remember drinking the additional three bottles. What are you trying to say, that I'm an alcoholic? No, sir, I'm just reading what's in our system. Storing luggage for a few hours. I'm checking out, but is there a place I can store my luggage for a few hours? Why do you need us to hold your luggage, sir? My flight doesn't leave for another four hours. We can hold your luggage, but there is an additional cost associated with that service. How much is it going to cost me? It will be $6 an hour. 
I'm going to drink at your hotel bar. Can you hook me up? Unfortunately, sir, we cannot. Shall I take your credit card? No, forget it. It's cheaper for me to use a locker at the airport. Those airport lockers aren't always safe, though. I'll take my chances. Good luck with that, sir. To hold the parcel for pickup. Can I leave a package here to be picked up? Absolutely, sir. What is your name? I'm Bill Collins. My room is 108. Who will be picking up the package? It's my girlfriend, Katie Black. She will have to present identification when she picks it up. That's fine. I'll let her know. What time will she be picking the package up? She'll be here after 2 p.m. Is that all right? Not a problem at all. Could you just write all the info down? Why did I bother telling you everything then? Writing it down will make sure that if I'm not here, someone will know what to do. Calling to cancel a reservation. I need to cancel a reservation. Can you tell me the name the reservation is under? Sure, the reservation is under the name Carlos Jones. Can you please confirm your billing address? It's 116 Lighthouse Road in Boston. Do you want to reschedule the reservation? No, I need to cancel it outright. So I'm canceling the reservation from March 3rd through the 5th, correct? That is right. The cancellation will be subject to a $15 cancellation fee. No one told me that when I made the reservation. I'm sorry, sir. You can pay the cancellation fee or be charged for the full stay. Making plans for the weekend. What are you going to do this weekend? I haven't made any solid plans yet. Why do you ask? There's this event at a bookstore downtown I was thinking of checking out. That sounds really interesting. Yeah, and even if it's not, we can leave and grab a bite. There are so many nice new places that have opened up downtown. I know, and have wanted to try them all. So our meeting time is Saturday at 3? I'll meet you at the bookstore. It's the bookstore on Spring Street? We can grab some food and drinks after. An early dinner sounds great. Going to a party. Did you get invited to Wanda's party this Sunday? I did. I even went shopping for a new outfit. Did you also go shopping for a gift to bring? We're supposed to bring gifts? Of course. You can't just show up at someone's house empty-handed. I don't even know what Wanda likes. You can buy something that everyone at the party will like. It's not a... It's not everyone's party. It's Wanda's party. I mean you can bring a fruit salad or some wine. Not everyone drinks wine, though. I'm just giving you suggestions. I guess I'd better go back to the mall. Inviting your boss to a dinner party. I really want to thank you again for approving that raise. No problem, Val. You deserved it because of all your hard work. Regardless, I would like to show my appreciation by inviting you to dinner. How thoughtful of you, Val. My husband and I would like to throw a dinner party in your honor. That would be lovely. Can you join us this Thursday evening? Thursday evening works for me. Please bring your wife. She'll have to check her schedule, but it should work out. I'm also inviting the head of the finance department and his wife. They are a lovely couple. Inviting a friend to a birthday party. You know, my birthday is coming up in three weeks. So you are getting older. Indeed I am. And that's why I'm celebrating with a party. I love parties. When is it going to be? The party is going to be the Saturday before my birthday. Where is the party going to be held? It's going to be at the Arcade on Main Street. Will you come? Of course I will be there. Here's an invitation with all of the details. What time does the party start? It starts at 1 p.m. 
I will be there. Accepting an invitation to a party. I'm calling because I got the invitation to your party in the mail. I was worried that maybe it got lost. No, it came in the mail yesterday. So will you be coming to the party? You bet, I'll be there. Great, please feel free to bring your family. I was actually looking forward to some time away from them. Regardless, if you come with them or solo, please don't bring any gifts. Why is that? My husband is having the whole thing catered. I can at least bring a bottle of wine. That would be nice. Decline an invitation to a party. Did you get the invitation to my party? The invitation came in the mail yesterday. I was worried it got lost in the mail. Unfortunately, I can't go to your party. I wish I could. I'm sorry to hear that. My mother-in-law is visiting that day. I'm really sorry that you can't come. If I could sneak out of the house, I would, but my wife would kill me. I wouldn't want that on my hands. The next party you have, I promise I will be there. What if your mother-in-law visits again? Thankfully, she only comes once a year. Choosing a gift. I'm so bad at picking out gifts for my husband. The eternal question of what to get for the man who has everything. What do you suggest? Well, is your husband into sports? He is a huge fan of both soccer and of American football. Well, the football season is about to start. How about a jersey from his favorite team? That's actually a great idea. Just tell me what size he is. He is really tall but slim. How about a large, then? If it doesn't fit, can I return it? I'll include a gift receipt so he can return it, too. Buying flowers. I'd like to buy some flowers for my best friend's birthday. What is your friend's favorite color? She loves the color pink. I can make her a bouquet with pink roses. I don't want roses because that seems romantic, not to mention expensive. I can make the bouquet with carnations, lilies, and daisies instead. That sounds friendlier and cheaper. Would you like these to be delivered to your friend? That would be a great surprise. Just fill out this card and include the delivery address. Can you deliver these today? I can have them to your friend before 5 p.m. Greeting an old friend. It's been so long since I've seen you. I know, you haven't changed a bit. Oh, stop lying. I've gained a little weight. We've all gained some weight. Tell me how the kids are doing. They're all doing well, and yours? They are doing so well, growing up so fast. Are you at the same job, or are you doing something else? No, I left that place three years ago to start my own business. Congratulations. You always had an independent spirit. Thanks. It's going really well so far. I'd love to hear more about it over a cup of coffee. Greeting a visitor. Thank you for coming to my party this evening. No, thank you for letting me come as my cousin's guest. Any relative of Tina is welcome in my home. Have a seat. Thank you. You two know each other for a long time? We have. Can I get you something to drink? A glass of water will be fine. Would you like that with or without ice? Without ice is fine. We also have a buffet out back. Could you show me the way? Sure, just follow me. I think your cousin is out back. You really have a lovely home. Accepting food or drinks. Can I get you something to drink? I would love something to drink. I have water, juice, iced tea, or did you want something stronger? Something stronger would be great. Do you have wine? I do. Would you prefer red wine or white wine? I love white, but it depends on what kind you have. I have Chardonnay. That would be great. I'll take a glass. Excellent. Should I also bring out some cheese and crackers? That would go so well with wine. 
Great, just give me a moment to get that from the kitchen. You are such a wonderful host. Declining food or drinks. Can I get you something to drink? No, thanks. I just finished a whole bottle of water. You won't mind if I have something then? Of course not. Can I offer you some fruit or cheese? I just had lunch before I came here. I really hope you don't mind if I eat because I haven't had lunch. Go right ahead and do what you normally do. I didn't eat because I assumed you would be joining me. I hope you're not offended. No, I'm not offended at all. Oh, good. I ate before because I didn't want to impose. Gossiping. Did you hear what happened to Marie? I have no idea what happened. Is she okay? She's devastated. Marie and her fiancé called the wedding off. She was so excited about the wedding. How did you find out? I saw Marie posting on Facebook she was sad about losing her love. What do you think happened? I think Marie's fiancé is still in love with his ex. What makes you say that? Have you seen his Facebook page? No, what does it say? He has a picture of him and his so-called ex. Wow, I feel so bad for Marie. Wedding discussion. I always get so emotional at weddings. Me too, especially when I see the bride and groom kiss. The bride looks so beautiful. She did, and the groom looks so dapper in his tux. I'll see you at the reception in a little bit. No, you won't, because I wasn't invited. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe your invite was lost in the mail. It's okay. Why don't you bring me as your plus one? Actually, no, because I'm going with my husband. Please take pictures so I can see how nice everyone looked. I'm sure there will be pictures online afterward. It's not the same as being there. At beach. What a great day to be at the beach. I love the smell of the salt water air. Are you going to go swimming in that water? You bet. I'm going into the ocean. I actually hate swimming in the ocean. Why do you like the beach then? I like people watching. Do you like doing that at the pool? Yes, but when I go to the pool, I actually swim. So I guess you won't go surfing with me. Nope, but I'll cheer for you from my beach towel. I'd rather go do something together like making a sandcastle.